Welcome back to Factorio Mega Page in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing. Now, this is looking much better now. What I've done between sessions, I have uh, finished up the last of the solar panels up here. And what I've also done is I've added a one and two more new steel. These were sort of, this one was actually one of the old ones that had sort of uh, going into just here. And I changed it to the new format. And this one was just standing down here, but there was a path up here that meant we couldn't, we couldn't really use the space, so I moved the whole line over here with trains and all and uh, then hooked it up here. So that is now working. We now have uh, quite a lot more steel. Uh, what I've also done is, if you see here, there are now there are 68 stops. 48 of them are the new stops. And I've therefore set 48 trains assigned here. So there will always be 48 trains. And I could actually and probably should throw in a few more. But I felt that just going from 16 trains that was before into 48 trains seems absolutely absurd already. So this is now a pretty, pretty good on steel, I would hope, and uh, definitely have that as we want. Uh, one of the things that was uh, sort of highlighted or just questioned, and I think that's a totally fair question. Um, like when I spent most of my time out here, then with all of this overlay, then you look at this and they go like, oh, wow, you're down to 35 uh, updates. And you've been doing the last 10 episodes just trying to get more updates. But where are they? Well, if we go in here, you can actually see it goes has now gone up to 45. And the fact that we've now added way more capacity in the base is a very good sign that things are actually working. So I'm happy, but there are more things. I know that our, I, my hypothesis is my biggest culprit in terms of uh, useless, stupid uh, updates is this, this here. Uh, the fact that what we see here is all of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven splitters and a lot of empty belts. Uh, actually, even this part is annoying, is annoying me uh, a lot. Uh, these belts should be full, but you know, they can't be full because this is not producing a full number of full belts. Now, 123, not enough for uh, for full belts. It's actually not even three full belts. It just, it just looks nice. But the fact that they're not full belts isn't really ideal. But I think that the, the amount of inserters here is really causing well not the inserters because these ones are idle so that's not a big deal uh, but the number of splitters and half empty belts here i think that for most of what we could do just replacing something like well let's see let's just let's actually just go out here so replacing something like this huh why are my robots not doing anything why did my robots not build it? They should be. My robots should be building first. Um, <clears throat> like replacing this with this. Uh, that's a lot better because the belt will be coming in full. There will be a big issue. And that big issue is the fact that it'll be unevenly consuming because it'll be, this one will be very busy. And then only when that's full, this one will not get anything, which means that when the train comes in, it's not gonna load as fast because uh, the first chest will be super full and the last one will be basically a half empty. Again, it's a compromise. Another alternative would be doing this part. That is one split up for this. And that's also an option. Uh, I think I like to do, just do it like this. Just so we can see the idea of it and here. This one is slightly better, but it also just, yeah, these consume from one side, these consume from the other side. So all in all, it should be more evenly consumption here. Uh, it'll still have the issue that the middle belts, these ones will be first filled and then these ones and these other ones will basically not really get, but this is a much better, better build. It would be interesting to do a build of just, just testing how, how much of a performance boost it would be by changing all of them from one to the other. I don't think that's what we're going to do, but I might do that um, as, as a sort of a sample because we have these theories about what is good and uh, we don't really know. What we do know though, is that we need to get more science. Yay, more science. And because that is kind of the essence of what we're doing here. That's kind of annoying, this one. Hmm. Because that means I can't build the red and green like there because this is in a way, do I need that? Like technically, realistically, do I need it? Mm. 
Ah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Oh, by the way, look at that. Look at this here. Look at the whole big nothing burger down here. Nothing at all. Ah, okay, alert, but who cares? Ah, come on, sulfuric acid. Who cares about sulfuric acid these days? Um, but the good news is there are no more warnings for blue science, uh, blue circuits. And why, 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 why? Well, time has passed, and uh, you can see here this one. Oh, it only has 27. Uh, this one has 38, but there's no train to come in here because we have three trains, and that means there's one extra here. If we look in our dashboard, because we have it, and it's why we want it. Look at that. Look at that. We have actually plus three loads on top of the three inside the trains. So it's actually six full loads of uh, of blue circuits just sitting idle and waiting for something to happen. What I'm going to do in this episode is now we are going to scale up again. And what we're going to scale up is this one. The red and the green. Now this red and green will actually be scaled up too big because that will actually get scaled up to uh, 10,000 and 10,000 is a bit much but you know it's uh, it's it's better to scale it up to a bit too much than not enough right there that's uh, all we can do for this and I will get my trend my yeah are they coming in eh kind of so with this, uh, each of these are producing 5,400 and with by doubling it, well, we'll get up to 10,800 of the red and green signs. It's a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. It'll just, uh, it'll run and then it'll be idle again. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. And we are getting, yeah. Interesting how I have those. There. Okay. And you are slowly coming in here. So what will be, uh, what what is the objective for today? Well, uh, that is uh, getting the red and green. And then if we look at it, we actually have, which ones have we upgraded? We have not upgraded blue, we have not upgraded yellow, and we have not upgraded green and red. So basically it's only space and purple that we've upgraded. But now we've also been in the process of upgrading the uh, the red and green science. And once we have that, we can, st we can actually look at the blue as well as the yellow science uh, we probably won't be able to do all of them but let's uh, just get some of it online and see if uh, if we end up with some issues i think the majority oh this is quick this is quick uh, the majority of the issues we will see will i don't know i feel like red circuits might be a thing uh, could also since we're running out of sulfur then we could also get the look potentially run into sulfuric acid issues because uh, the sulfur will now start consuming some of the stuff that's assigned to sulfuric acid and that's something we've had issues with uh what are we missing we're missing okay definitely not that and uh, let's see i'm gonna miss some some light bulbs we got those weirdly enough and maybe a few of these and what else could we oh that one and that one and that one and over here anything else if in doubt more modules there let's go here and have the have the meet up and that will build this part should be good I do enjoy just seeing the Spider-Trons just roaming. And you Spider-Trons, you can go there, 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 there. And I will just be running around and figuring out the things that are not working and why they're not working, actually. Seems weird that it's not working. Now, there must be one thing that wasn't working. I'm going to get my robots in here because otherwise they will not go out. So we have some issues over in these locations. And let's see. Spider-Trons, spider -tron. There. And there. The few last remaining things. And then we'll use this one to scan for ghosts. Are there any ghosts? Yes, there's one ghost down here. Hiding behind the power pole. There we go. And then we'll work together with the robots to fill out the... Or Spiritron to fill out the remainder. Actually, I think I'll let the Spiritons go somewhere else. The Spiritons will go. Let's see. Any ghosts? No ghosts. So I will take my Spiritons over here to fill in the last two ghosts. You'll be heading back. 
and you'll be going there. Great. That is all we need for the red and green. So by doing this, we will obviously we'll see two new warnings because we have red and green uh, being completely empty here. And what we'll see is this one will now open. So we should be seeing something coming in here. This one is interestingly enough open. So that means nothing is even assigned to this location yet. Uh, and I think that we will have a very interesting thing that's going to run out soon. And that is actually the fuel. As you can already see here. Uh, why are there two next to each other? That's weird. Um, there we go. That's the first green one coming in. These, This is waiting here. There. It is actually not departing. Why is it not departing? Well, 27. I have just thrown out a lot of trains. So I have completely exhausted all of the all the stockpile here that means this is probably not working very well so could we do this we absolutely could and that would probably be helping a lot on this why are the trains not or why are these not working there there and there and i'll just even out this good Funny how we don't have any more of those. That's weird and suspicious. All right. Are we getting it? Yes, we are. We are getting that one working. This one here is not working. What are we missing here? That is copper. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's good. Copper is coming in as well. So with iron and copper coming in, the red circuits will, uh, the red signs will go, will start working. And down here, interestingly enough, it's only iron and green circuits. No copper. Of course not, no copper. But um, it's getting started. We'll start having this one. We'll start having it stop warn throwing a warning. Yeah, that's correct. And here. Okay, the copper is coming in slowly. And the greens are coming out as well. And we should now see the green warning should stop being a warning soon it does need a certain amount before it stops making a, a warning here you can see there's a throughput but the throughput is apparently not enough for it to warrant it to stop throwing warnings it needs to be pretty close to a full belt it's actually interesting i would imagine that this would be enough hmm well that needs a verification or at least further study what is your threshold? Show alert when this one is zero. Oh, right. It's it's red because it's not throwing an error. It just takes a while for up to update here. Yes, yes, yes. So iron is still a problem and plastic is a problem. Two of the ones that are following the new design, uh, design principle. These are now working. Full belts. This is working. Full belts-ish. And that's good. So that was now... Uh, now we have all of the iron... The, all of the red and green signs that we could ever wish for. That's nice. And what else could we want in uh, this? What would be the next thing? Uh, I think I just want to go back to the hub. And just a bit here. And there. And you go back to the hub. Just to replenish here. And I'll also take my spider trunks back to the hub. That one. And while I do that. I will look at what we have for here. Now. What do we have in terms of this? This red is a dedicated red towards the blue science. And this is a dedicated green towards the blue science. That's actually the last of these dedicated that I have. So if I look at this part, how much do we have? We are requesting 48. Well, what if we have three of these? Then we'd be requesting 145. Each of these are delivering... Oh, uh, what is it? It's... I don't know. <laughs> it's um, it's 123 for each of those. We have the modules uh, indicated here. 123 for the red module. There we go. And if I request 148, then that's a problem. So what I really want to do is I want to build another red, but I want uh, another blue science. But I... Oh. How am I not able to... Oh, because I can't pick it up. There. There. Good. Um, 
And that would kind of... The only place that really makes sense is to place it right there. Yeah. So what I need to do is I need this one to change to just be like that. I need this one to change to just be the same as all the other ones. I need this one to change to be like all the other ones. Good. Well, that's a start. Then I need this train. Uh, right. These ones also need to change to be the normal one. And this one as well. There. So now this is part of... Seriously, I have four of these trains. Are you kidding me? That's not enough. No way. And that just added another. Did I have two trains delivering this? What? Oh, this Oh, this is a dedicated red. Ugh, I don't like those dedicated reds. I have five stations called... I have only five stations called red? Is that really the, wor the world we're living in? One, two, three, four. And now that one I converted here. That's only five reds. What about you? Oh, you're dedicated. Dedicated, dedicated. Maybe I should have had dedicated. I don't like having dedicated, to be honest. Because the dedicated ones... I would have to have two dedicated. Okay, so... How much green circuits is this actually consuming? 176. So if I have two of those, and this one is producing 136. 136 169. So this green can support two reds. So I could build another two more reds down here that are dedicated to blue. And then one more blue up here. So it's going to be blue, blue, blue. Sciences, R green circuits, red, red, and they'll be dedicated. Damn. I think that's unfortunately the way we have to do it. Yeah. Well, I think we uh, need to... What I absolutely want to do is I want to make sure that nothing comes in here. Actually, nothing comes in on this part. I don't want anything going in to these locations. Um, because they will be moved down there and I need this to be emptied a lot like a lot a lot a lot emptied okay uh, that's going to take a while to get this to empty and uh, also clean it up afterwards we might just be able to have to nuke it but one of the th the first things we want to do is build two new red circuits down here and those red circuits will be red circuits but they will have be dedicated dedicated to the blue science which means we have a vast overproduction of red circuits for blue science because this is 123 123 and i don't know that's 240 whatever 52 i don't know what 246 yes thank you and i will only be using 145 so i have a hundred red circuits per second over capacity well the good thing news is that it'll be idle most of the time so it won't really consume anything so these two needs to be built here that one needs to go away and be drained which is kind of going to be a problem since it's 168. So what I need to do is build these two. And do we have our Spiratron is good. It's coming up here. Oh, that's a lot of robots being drawn back. Oh, these robots were actually busy. They've been busy uh, sending things to the, the buffer chest. Or buffer chest. Uh, but uh, now they don't need to do that anymore. So they actually need to do their actual job. And that is uh, emptying a red circuit train when it comes in. That was actually nice to see a red circuit train coming in here so what i need to do is i need to check these two out there we go and then we'll build this one. Oh no i forgot i forgot this, this doesn't really make a difference does it if i do this so i'm gonna have to do that and you go away and this one i have to set them to zero instead there and we might just nuke it instead it, it sucks but That is the only way. Um, these are now being set to zero, so at least they won't be getting anything. Uh, this just really, really wants to go somewhere. But I don't know where that could be. Um, I'm wondering if I could just reassign it to this 
Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Do... Ah, I don't like this. I. I. It's two steps forwards and one step forward and two steps backwards. Okay. So what I've done now is re-establish these red ones as being dedicated. Red circuit are dedicated here. Yes. Now I'm gonna do this one. Also make you a dedicated location. No, actually I don't. Um, I don't need to do this. I just need to change this one. So you're not, you don't want to go there. You want to go to the one here. Until empty. On, until empty. So now obviously that's not going to do anything. But it might just in a second when I take this and assign a value of one. And this one assign a value of one. That means this station, this train will automatically go there. Even if it cannot reload it, uh, you are definitely going to go to no. Shit. How does that work? How is it not going in here? That makes no sense. That makes no sense for me. Uh, that my point here is that I want to empty this train station as fast as possible, and it's not easy. It's not easy because we have so much. So in the meantime, uh, what I really want to do is this one. Yep. And then I'll take the station and reset it so that it's generic again. Now this state tra train will be stuck, and I will get a train coming in here. I hope. Okay, they are start working, and that should be my red train. Yes. Okay, red train. You will go to that location. Perfect. That's the location going in here. These are working as diligently as they can. This will take 64,000 and those 64,000 will now be going up here because this is hard coded to accept one, even though it really shouldn't be accepting one. It's already at 100,000, uh, but it's going to be kind of the only way that I can get things in there. So this is working, and once this is full, then we can send it out again. Unfortunately, we are still having 165,000 red circuits. That's something that's just going to take some time. So I think what we'll do is we will be fi focusing on building this one, completed. And once that's completed, we will probably also have found a way to get rid of most of this so we can build the blue circuits to get this one completed here. All right, so I think we are... Somewhat ready. This has been built. This one has been somewhat emptied. There are no, no longer enough. There's 18,000 here. There's still something here and there's a still something there. So that is pretty good. What I can do is now take all of this out and then we can rebuild it again. And I'll do that one. Except, oh, should probably not have done that while standing here. Oops, I don't want to be standing here. Yeah, I don't want to be standing here. Anyway, the point is that I did not want to delete these. And I did not want to delete this. And I certainly did not want to delete this. Uh, that one up there is okay. So that should be the, um, the point of this. I can then have my robot... Uh, uh, what are the robo friends coming in here that's what they're called robo friends there that one should stay and that one should stay good and they will go in here oh uh, hold on before they do that they probably should fire up the new ones and that as well let's make sure these ones get fired up and nothing can be built okay so what i need to do is I can then go to these locations and just put in the stuff that I don't like here. Yeah. I wish I could also put in some more. All uh, right. Well, my inventory is kind of messed up right now because there's a lot of things that I shouldn't have been picking up, but I did because I was standing in an unfortunate location when this whole thing happened. So I want to remove this. Uh, the point of this was actually I had a plan that was uh, brilliant, <laughs> I think. Um, I am going to go, I'm going to hitch a ride home on a train because this is kind of miserable. I don't want to be, have my part being part of it. And then we can go back and get 
that sorted, I will go back to basically to home there and then that will sort out. Unfortunately, my robots will probably be ditched on the way home. Now that is good. So what, what more can we do? Well, in order to fix the last part, how about we allocate a train mm, like this here. <clears throat> that is a explosive train, an artillery train. They are not very busy these days, but they, uh, they, they got, they got work to do. This one will try to make it because all of this thing is kind of annoying to take out. And if only there was like an easy way to clean things up when you have lots of stuff in the box, you don't want your robot ports to, or your drones. Ugh. Your spider chants. That's what they're called to fix that. Then there must be another way. There must be another way. There. Also, I need to do this part so that it gets reestablished. Uh, actually, these two are not going to be reestablished either. There we go. Oh, uh, these are my robots, and I am on here. Take that out. All of that is now actually fixed. That was quite pretty quick that it got fixed. Good. And what I need to have is I need to have. A remote. Is that a military thing? Yes. I Do I have that? Yes. I should have one. There it is. Alright. So what I can do in, uh, in service of this is just remove things in a simple manner. There. And then take these out. It's only 18,000 red circuits. Psh. That's not much. And now these can be removed and I will set my spidertrons to just clean up the rest of this location. And what I can then build afterwards, uh, I think these roboports are, yeah, they're probably full of uh, some of the junk that they've been picking up. But now we can set it to this one. That will get going and I'll just make sure that this gets taken out. There, that's actually better. I just want to make sure that it can't and you can then go back here whenever you can. So what do we have here? We have, this is no longer a dedicated, but it probably should be a dedicated. I'll be reestablishing this as a dedicated blue, oops, dedicated green circuit for blue science by doing this one. It's a bit back and forth, but I think uh, sometimes I do have a point. That one. Yes. And this one as well. Here. Yep. These are now dedicated and I'll send you off. And I will also send you off. And this will now be a also a dedicated so that it loses, then it loses all of its trains. Oh, there has to be a space in between. There. Alright, so now I don't have any trains for this, and I do not have any trains for this. Good. Eh, kind of. But that's what we're just going to get up here, and I just only want need a single one. So let's go scroll down here to the stats. things that start with blue. Chemical. Uh, they are going to be whew, inaccessible, inaccessible. Are they going to be accessible? Why do I not... Why, why is there this one? And there's also that one. Why are they not next to each other? That makes no sense for me. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go first to this where it fills up. And then I'm going to go to that one where it unloads. Yes. Go. I'll just zoom to this. Yeah. So I now have one train coming in here, servicing this. And one train servicing this. And that will be feeding from... Well, you are kind of stealing our stuff, aren't you? You kind of are. You really shouldn't. Because you don't really belong here. Okay, and in the meantime... Trying to see if we can get this built. And that will then be up to 8,100 blue signs. I'll be helping it out by going down there and just getting it. Operational, I'm gonna go. Yeah, well, that's that's a part. Yeah. 
maybe just wait a second just to make sure. Yeah, this is the problem that a lot of them are stuck because they want to want to fill up into the inventory that it's not. Yeah, if inventory is definitely full, so I'm going to send these back again. Yeah, you know what? You are uh, you need to be cleaned out. So I'm going to take care of the rest of myself. That should be pretty good. So we have two of these. They will be way overfilled. And you? Yeah, you just go back again. Oh, right. You were trying to head into this one. You got confused. That's kind of okay. Uh, you, my friend, is a you are a massive problem. There we go. Get out of there. Get into another green that is open. I'm going to go... Huh? What? Why there? I guess we are... No, we're not ready to be able to put this in. I don't want it to go in by accident and mess something up. Okay, there's a lot of... It seems like the majority of what we have issues with is green circuits. Or green inserters. Green something, right? Seriously? Why am I not placing that here? And why are we not placing those? We have the technology. We can rebuild it. That makes no sense. Oh, I know. It's because they actually they think that they still want to... Uh, or it's maybe some of these. Yeah. These uh, that are still haunting me. Because I ran away from them. All right. I'll just wait for them to come in so we can get this up and running. This running as well. And here we have the issue. These robots, these drones attached to the spider taunts think they're the ones who will be placing it, but they are not. So uh, I had to wait for them to get back in here. And as soon as they get back in here, all of these, then we should be starting to see my robots flying out because they will now be reassigned. Yes. Oh, man. I, I do actually know how this game works. Ah, that's wonderful. Except for that one. Can we just get the last one? Yeah, okay. There they go. All right, now look, are there any ghosts in this? Any ghosts? No, no ghosts. Great, this one has just had to be built, and that's the only ghost we have, and then I will be placing that once that's placed. Then we have a massive deadlock outside on the <laughs> on the main line that is uh, is caused by the artillery train and the uh, this train here. This train, you can just go home. Go home. Yeah, and as soon as I build this, the artillery train will move there. A literature tree moves home. That can move. That can move. And oh, okay. I thought it would be a much bigger deadlock, but it wasn't at all a big deadlock. So now we have a uh, blue signs working. Let's see if the blue signs should be getting a red signs in. That's peculiar. Why this is not working? And you should be going to that. Uh, let's see this. Oh, yeah. They they really want to go down here, but this one doesn't have the 64 yet. So only when this gets to 64,000. And... Oh, that's another really interesting thing. Is this still hungry? Um, it probably is still hungry. Okay. So what happens now is that since these are new builds, then it will have a tendency to fill up the top one first. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'll just do this so that when it goes back here, it goes in, gets filled up with more green circuits. Then it will at least assign it to the next one. So I can at least have both of those running at the same time. Once they are up and running, then it'll balance out itself. Because as long as I have excess capacity, then it will balance our excess production of greens. It'll balance out between these two. But I just need to both of them get started instead of having 100,000 here and nothing in the other one. I'd rather have 50,000 in each. So I'm going to get this one. Where are we at? Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, this one. Okay. In the meantime, we have a beautiful build up here that should be looking good. We have iron, we have steel. Those are all generic ones. And we don't have reds. Why do we not have reds? Well, because reds are not built yet. Again, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this red one to go up to 64. And this red one is also not really doing much because... It is not there. Okay, so what I need is this needs to get to 64. Then it needs to drive to the second red one so that it can also get started. 
And not that it will sort of sp well, speed up eventually, but it won't speed up the first load. The first load is simply waiting for this one to get to 64. And once that's getting done, then we should be able to go. So let's wait for this uh, the first one to come in. So we just follow the first train all the way through and see the last, see our blue science operating as well. And just now it has reached 64,000 here and uh, a train is being reallocated. Train should be coming in now. Uh, there is one inbound, that's the one. Let's see. Uh, in the meantime, I did force the green circuits to go in here. And okay, so the both of the two new red ones are working. And the next one is at 42,000, so it's it can go there quickly enough. When we get this train, that it will, of course, it needs to fill up, but then it will go up to this one, I hope. Uh, let's see if there's any other things that could be... No. As long as this is not there and this is not there. Okay. This one would also like to go up, but it will, it'll get there. The, since we have so much excess capacity for red circuits, then it really isn't going to be a problem at all to keep it. It's only a matter of the startup time. How much we got this? Okay, let's get this. Uh, the last 36%. What about in the meantime, looking at these, they are working, working quite well. And... That one is also, that's even stuck now. Wow. And um, yeah, I guess we, well, it's also producing 10,000 and we're consuming 5,000. 10,800, we're only consuming 5,000. So it is not a big surprise that it's running. It doesn't take long to actually fill up. Okay, 59,000, 60,000, 61, 62. When it gets to 64, let's have a look at where it goes. It should be going, yep. It goes exactly where we were hoping it would go, so that's good. This one is, you can see here, it is two open and only one of them is allocated, so, or reserved, I guess is the right word. Once you have that, oh yeah, then we start seeing our red circuit, well, blue science operating with the red circuits inbound. I really hope, I really wish they had sort of other things than just colors and things like, everything is a color and a circuit or a science. Yeah, or belt. Or a sampler, or something else. It's just colors, um, but this is good. Now we have it working. I just need to flow this in, and then we get this. We still have a warning here. That's the only warning we have. If we can get to the point where we do not have any warnings, that would be absolutely glorious. Um, and we'll get that as soon. Look at that. We have the first blue circuits are now being created. Well, not technically not the first blue circuit since we're producing it at 5,400 per second already of per minute. And we're going to go up here to 8,100 once this whole operation thing is operate, whole thing is operational. And then from here on, it's going to be yellow science. And once we have yellow science, it's going to be science facilities. And once we have the science facilities, we'll see all the things that break and then go from there. In the meantime, uh, this one is still still throwing warnings. Oh, come on, plastic. You really didn't need to uh, to give me a plastic warning now. I was so happy that there would be no plastic warning. So this one, you can see. Okay, now it's, it's starting to be consistently nothing. There we go. Ah, uh, blinky, blink, blink. As long as it's, it blinks online for a bit, then... There we go. Now we have so much that it stops sending sending the warning at any given time. And this will be now a full belt. Excellent. Uh, come on, get rid of it. Yes. So now we only have plastic. Plastic is as a warning, but I don't think that's a real warning. So I am gracefully just ignoring that. There we go. And I will just wrap up with a look at the production graph. Science. 10 minutes. And if we look at... Why could these not be colored? Anyway, that one. <laughs> we had a dip. That's actually really interesting. Oh, it must have stalled out. So now it's getting back online. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really tell us anything because if, yeah, it's not producing very much because this one is obviously not uh, producing. So we are just gonna go back. That's why the production graph did as it did. See, this does not look good, but it's actually because it's stalled and then it's stuck here. And then the next one started up. So it just went back to the 5,400, even though it also has an excess capacity somewhere that isn't really being used at all. And if we also look at the other ones, the other signs, and we can look at the green one. It had a spike some 10 minutes ago. If we look at it on the hour, yep, we can see that it went all the way up to 11,000. What about you? You also went up to 11,000. You're still working. 
it's either running at 5,400 or at 10,800. That's really nice to see that it's so consistent with our meshes. Great, it's awesome. If I look on a 10 minute, then we can see, if I look at one minute, yep, yeah, it's 10,800. This is 10,800 and yeah, 5,400. Perfect, perfect, I love it. And then once we have all of them, then we'll be starting to add, or we will be adding two more, and then we'll be at 7,500 signs per minute. Whew. Whoa, that was a that was a massive achievement uh, in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know that the like button is. I appreciate uh, the consistency of just hitting the like button. It does make a, a difference for me in the visibility of these episodes. And uh, although I'm, I must admit that most of you watching are probably uh, people who have already watched the majority of the other episodes. So thank you all of you for following along. And thank you particularly to the patrons who are supporting. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.